Hello everybody, it's Lee Moore here, and I'm here with a tutorial, a Lindy Stamp Gang tutorial actually. And what I wanted to show you is I want to show you how to create this fabulous wood grain tag. And you can use this on, you know, really anything, like um, any project that you want. And um, at the end I'll show you a finished project, but I wanted to show you how to create, look at the back, it's awful, but um, how to create this really, really cool technique, right? Like that just totally looks like wood, right? So what I'm gonna do, is you're gonna need um, one of these. Um, this is a Ranger. What size is this? Uh, six and a quarter by three and a quarter tags. Okay. And so I'm gonna take one out. And these are those awesome Manila tags. Okay. So you're gonna take one of those. What you're gonna need? There's several things that you're gonna need to create this project. But you know, Lindy's um, has uh, an array of um, such a large amount of. Um, magicals and sprays and such that you can kind of create your own thing but anyway I'm gonna create I'm gonna uh, create uh, this wood grain using the moon shadow ink and it's treasure island turquoise so that's the one color I'll be using I'm gonna be using cocoa bean copper which is a starburst spray I'm also going to be using um, this is opal sea oats which is also a starburst spray and last but not least, I'm going to be using a magical, which is called Grab a Guy Gold. Okay. And the other thing I will be using is I'll be using some water and a little bit of acrylic glazing liquid. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Um, you're going to need a little dish or something like that. I'm going to grab my first uh, thing, which is Grab a Guy Gold Magicals. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take my palette knife. And I'm going to dump about that much. Do you guys see? I know it's rusty, so it kind of looks a little bit off, but right there, maybe a little bit more. Okay, you don't need a whole lot. And I'm going to close this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water. And I'm going to dump a little bit of water right there. And I'm going to show you the beautiful color that it creates. You want to blend this up, making sure all the mica powders and such get nicely blended. And I just want to show you the beautiful... Um, oops, sorry, new camera angle. There we go. Do you can see all that beautiful gold kind of swirling around? Okay, that's kind of what you want, okay? Now the next thing that I want to do, I want to create a little bit of a glaze. So I'm going to add a little bit of acrylic glazing liquid, just a little bit, not too much, because you'll see the next step as well. So just a little bit. I don't want to change the color too much, and it will change it a little bit if you add a little bit too much. So I just added a couple drops. Okay, and just see how it changes it a little bit. Okay. So perfect. And now what I want to do, I want to take my fan brush, just like this, and I'm going to dip this in. And when you dip it in, you'll find that the um, the bristles kind of go together. So what you want to do is you almost want to fan it out so that they're apart. So I just kind of play with it just like this. Okay. Play with it until they're kind of spread apart and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your tag and instead of applying it like this you're going to apply it from the top like this so that you can create really cool lines okay such as that makes sense and the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, glazing liquid and I just apply a little bit right here on my mat just to ensure that it does create a little bit of a glaze resist and then I just the same thing I spread spread the wings apart and it's a little bit harder with the glaze so sometimes you'll just have to use your fingers because this is a little bit thicker there we go and then you're gonna do the same thing okay just like that and then you're now you're gonna give it a quick heat set and make sure that it's nice and dry before you do your next step now we're going to move on to the next color, and it's the Moon Shadow Ink, uh, but, and it's Treasure Island Turquoise. And so I'm going to take this um, knife again, actually I'll take this one, and what it is, it's a uh, turquoise with brown, which is really beautiful. Okay, about that much. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of water, and you'll see it turn, it's like magic. Can you guys see that beautifulness? It's so stunning, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love this color. One of my absolute favorite colors. Okay, 
So now you're going to take that and then the same thing, you're going to add just a little bit of the acrylic glazing liquid. I'm going to do like one drop this time. Oops, a little, a second drop fell. Didn't really want that much, but that's okay. It does change the color quite a bit, so you got to watch. Okay, so we're stirring it up. Fabulous. And now what I'm going to do, same thing, same technique as before. I'm going to take my brush, dip it in really, really nicely so I can get some of that beautiful shimmer in there. Okay, and then spread the bristles apart. And then do the same thing throughout. Okay, just like that. And then maybe you can make a little puddle here and there to represent a knot, but you don't need a whole lot. Okay, just like that. And then what I like to do is same thing, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of glaze right there and go over it so that it resists some parts. And then I'm gonna give it a quick heat set and come right back. So this is what we have so far. Really cool already, right? And can you guys see the shimmer right there of that knot? I mean, that's just so cool. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take your light color, which is the Opal Sea Oats, it's almost empty. Um, which is, I don't know if you can kind of see that cap. It's kind of a, it's got a little bit of red in it, but it doesn't, it, the color actually doesn't. It's just a splatter from um, a project I did. But anyway, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's between a beige and a brown, and a green, I guess you could call it. So you're gonna apply that on the top. And then you're gonna grab your uh, cocoa bean copper, gonna mix it up, and you're gonna give it a spray. Okay, just like that. Look, at, it's so gorgeous already, right? I'm just gonna let it soak just for one minute. I'm gonna move that around, move that out of the way, clean that up. And then, now that it's soaking in really, really nicely, you can now go ahead with your paper towel and then wipe some of that off. And then you may wanna give it one more run at it, which I did in my last tag. Okay, but look how gorgeous that is already. And if you really want it to be this dark, you can let it be this dark. I just dab it a little bit and then maybe give it a heat set right away instead of dabbing all that color off. But the thing about Lindy Stamp Gang sprays that are so different is that um, they are permanent ink, so they do react a little bit differently than other sprays that you'll find out there. So I really do love um, creating really fun new techniques with these. And so you could leave it, you could leave this tag as is because it does certainly look like a really fabulous wood grain look, um, but you could take it one step further if you wanted to. And the next step would be to take the embossing folder by Tim Holtz um, and Sizzix. This is that wood grain one, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's what I did with this one right here. So you could have two variations, but look how gorgeous that tag is. Um, and then you can just go ahead and now, you know, create over top of it. But now you have a super awesome background to create on. So I hope you enjoyed your tutorial and uh, just stay tuned because I'm just going to share um, my, my project, my, my finished project. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.